what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video we're going to be talking about jeepers creepers once again another opening idea regarding jeepers creepers 5 just a theory regarding the opening of jeepers creepers 5 that we could potentially get and get your thoughts on it down in the comment section below because i know that a lot of you guys have been enjoying some of these recent theories i've been putting out suggesting that i should be in the writer's room next time which i do appreciate although i highly doubt that i'll be involved in anything directly related to a jeepers creepers project is much as that probably would be a good way for me to get my name out there or just bring more attention to my own channel i don't think i'll ever be a part of it, something like that but i appreciate the sentiment from you guys in the comments now what if we got an opening in jeepers creepers 5 that opened on our we don't touch it trio now you might be going who the fuck is that and what is he talking about well that's the three kids or the young adults i guess who who we meet at the end of jeepers creepers 2 when they're going to meet old man taggart now just before the shirtless boy is able to touch the creeper old man taggart tells him we don't touch it so yeah that's that's where i got the the we don't touch it crowd so what if we follow all three of these people during our opening the two nameless boys and the girl anyway remember one of them didn't want to pay or or something like he's like we got to get our money back after he saw the creeper starts putting his hands on his hips and in this opening that's exactly what he and his two friends try to do they go get their money back or try to go get it back anyway it would we would follow them on their way home leaving the taggart barn in the opening you can throw that in there and the boy who was like we should go get our money back he's looking on his phone going going on these forums seeing that a lot of people think taggart is a, is a is a con artist and that the creeper isn't real he's just going on these forums that are directly related to the pole hole east nine area and that's only infusing in his head that guy was a that guy is a con artist he's living off of lies and we need to go get our money back so a few days have passed it's now the day the creeper will awaken the guy who wanted to get his money back has convinced his other two friends along with the helpless shirt boy and the girl because we never got their names he's convinced them to help them to help him go get his and their money back because old man taggart has probably been living off of this scam for years and it's time that someone taught him a lesson he also didn't think it was real if i'm not mistaken because again taggart's response with when he asked you're supposed to expect us to believe that that thing is real taggart goes don't really care so the day the creeper awakens has come these three return to the area the taggart barn the farmhouse at night then the i want my money back guy stays outside to watch the creeper since he doesn't believe it's real his other two friends say then you shouldn't have a problem watching it and being on the lookout in case old man taggart comes back because in this opening taggart and his son they're not they're not here they've gone off somewhere to actually collect trisha jenner and meet up with her and bring her back to the farmhouse for the inevitable 23rd spring that they know is looming so the shirtless boy and the girl go inside the farmhouse looking for the cash taggart probably has left around now the two inside do not find a damn thing because taggart isn't dumb and hasn't left a single penny lying around from his creeper profits the non-believer boy approaches the creeper's lifeless corpse and looks up at it puts his hands on his hips like he did in the sequel at the end of the sequel and says so you're the talk of the town huh and then we then we get an eerie shot of the creeper hanging on the wall above that bat out of hell sign looking as dead and gross as ever because of course it hasn't been touched or ate a damn thing in 23 years it's skin and bones just like we saw it at the end of jeepers creepers 2 so there's an eerie shot there of the creeper hanging on the wall from the character's perspective of the boy who still doesn't believe but a noise is heard outside the barn so he goes to investigate it was just a bunch of crows gathering around a dead animal in the road when he goes back inside the creeper's body is gone he lets out a he lets out a screech he falls to the ground in shock and yells for the shirtless boy and girl to come to come out and look all three stand in confusion as to where the creeper went but then a loud thud is heard over the farmhouse so they all turn around and on top of the house is the creeper everything has regenerated the wings are back legs are fine you know those stitches that tiger had everything is just it appears to be fine i don't really think it's necessary to overly show how the creeper was able to come back to full health just let it be and let that thing exist on its own but then of course that does draw in the question if it's able to just appear out of thin air how could killing it stop it that that would be the biggest question i guess at the end of a at the end of a sequel or any project that has the creeper dying if it can just appear out of thin air like that that would ultimately then mean that killing it wouldn't stop it right 
that's for us to kind of ponder on at after the franchise is over because of how the creeper returns during its 23rd spring that's why i think it should be done like this just have it appear out of nowhere it's com it's completely restored full health both its limbs are back wings are back everything it even has the titular hat and coat that it likes to wear it has the battle axe in hand um so they all try to make a run for it to their truck which is off in the field across from the Taggart location, the, across from the Taggart location in the farmhouse. But the creeper swoops down and ends up taking off with the non-believer boy who wanted his money back so badly. Flies off into the night sky with him. The two other friends look off as he is taken and screaming. The shirtless boy and girl hop into the truck, drive down East 9 crying and screaming and are lucky enough to run into Trisha and the Taggarts. Now, Trisha gets out of her car or the Taggart's car, because she's riding with them. And she's like, what happened? What's wrong? And then Taggart steps out of his truck with his son. We get a glimpse of Ray, Ray Wise's face for the first time in this franchise in so many years. It's kind of be like a nostalgic moment and a finally moment for any viewer who has been waiting for this moment and this specific entry to the series. And Taggart simply lets out a line, I bet your friend believes me now, doesn't he? Because he recognizes these kids. He knows exactly who they are. He, he He's making assumptions as to what happens. He's assuming that the Creeper must have escaped. These two or three kids went back to his farmhouse for whatever reason. And one of them, since he isn't there with them, must have gotten must have gotten taken by the monster. So it would just be Taggart looking at them as they're crying, saying, I bet your friend believes me now, doesn't he? And then the film's title card would appear, Jeepers Creepers 5 or whatever. That's my simple opening I would have that you could also do for Jeepers Creepers 5, setting it on those three kids, young adults from the end of Jeepers Creepers 2, taking one of them in the opening, leaving behind the other two to be developed as the story progresses, or maybe you just discard them all together <laughs> after this opening sequence. Um, I'm just trying to think of like cool ways to open the movie that are reminiscent of Jeepers Creepers 2 because I think Jeepers Creepers 2 has the most effective opening out of any of the four films although three and four being counted as part of this franchise is kind of insulting anyway let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description I'll have links on my social media accounts I am on Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys I will see you in the next video